What's poppin' T squad? squad? Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the channel. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Rush, Rush fam. Channel. You guys, we're back with another vlog, y'all. And as you can see, me and Callie are outside because it's the weekend, weekend baby. baby. So you guys, I want to show you something. I don't know if y'all remember this, but we have a zip line in our backyard. We've shown you guys, where is it at? Oh yeah, it's all the way up there. We've shown you guys in a couple videos how lit the zip line is, but I was doing something that was really not safe, you guys, and not really that smart either. So I figured something out the other day and I'm gonna show you guys. So when I was first going up the zip line, you gotta basically climb this tree right here, y'all. So you climb up there, but then I was getting to this part and I didn't know that that part opened right there. There's a door that seals there and I didn't know it opened. So what I was doing was coming out here and crawling or climbing up here on the outside and then I would literally lift myself up like Tarzan. Remember Callie? Yep. But now I'm gonna show you guys how it's actually supposed to be working now that we got the correct door open, all right? All right, so we get up to the second level here. Hey Callie. Hey girl. Uh oh, there's some sirens going on in the distance. So anyways, we put this around our wrist so we can climb and not lose the zip line. And then we literally climb through this hole, you guys, which seems obvious now that it's open, but before it was open, it, I didn't even know there was a door there. And then you guys, now that I'm at the top, this is how you go down properly. And that's how the zip line is done properly, you guys. So major update. Honestly, you guys, we've been having so much fun with the zip line. Just the whole outdoor backyard experience, period. Whew, I'm out of breath. Even the workers that are working on our house, some of the days when they're done working, we all just chill, catch a vibe. And then some of them who are wild like me, we go on the zip line and yeah, we just have fun with it. So totally just enjoying having this backyard, you guys. Super grateful for all of this. You know, it's just a whole different lifestyle I'm still getting used to. Your turn? Your turn? Wait, you want to go in the zip line? You think you're big enough? Yep. All right, you guys, so this is actually true. Kylie does go in the zip line. So does Camaro. I'm going to show you guys how they go on because they obviously can't go up the full thing without a safety harness. So I take them pretty much. Well, let me just show you guys. But I... When I was, um, when I was here, when we were first at the new house, when it was all like clean, I was scared to go on the zip line. At first you were scared, but I'm going to tell you a secret, Kelly. Want to know a big secret? Yep. I was scared too my first time. I was like, okay, hey, how old is the zip line? Like, is it safe? Whatever. But you know, sometimes you just have to take that leap of faith. And sure enough, it's been holding us. But yeah, anyways, let me show you guys how Kelly goes up. So, you got a tight grip? Mm -hmm. You good? Uh, yep. So we kind of just pull it like this, y'all. Let me know when we're at a good height, all right? Callie. Yep. Are you ready? Yep. Are you good? <laughs> yeah. Do you have a tight grip? Yes. Do you feel safe? Yep. All right, let's go. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> How was that? Good. I'm going one more time because you went two turns. You guys remember in the last video when I showed you guys a part of the renovation updates in the backyard with all the dirt and it looked like we literally had dirt bike jumps or uh, some sort of a crazy obstacle course in the backyard? Well, let me show you guys a quick update. It's still a super big mess out here as you can see, but major update is that they're starting to put back a lot of the dirt. There used to be this big gap between the house where they were doing the waterproofing. They put that back. It's pretty much fully flat over here. So now they just have to like regrade it and then start planting like new grass and all of that good stuff. So major update, I'm happy about that. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we'll show you guys as progress happens. You feel me? Callie, you're on the swings too much, girl. Come. Come with me, girl. Come with me. So you guys, there is actually something way more exciting than this dirt update. Yeah. Me and Callie have something to show y'all. So you guys know that Keisha and I and Camaro, actually the whole family, we're all car enthusiasts. We love cars. You, you guys know I love my baby, Dream. Um, you know Keisha recently got Storm, her baby. Camaro has his ATV and he has a quad um, and a dirt bike. Like Camaro has the most cars out of all of us. So, hold, hold on, don't tell them yet, girl. No, I'm so, gonna sell them my old car. Right. I have my 
my old pink car. The Mercedes, right? Yeah, Mercedes, and she is my favorite. She she um, looks like strawberry. And <laughs> she looks she like strawberry. Best, and she's pink. Okay, okay. Well, I think she was your favorite until yesterday. Because Keisha had the amazing idea, y'all, of surprising Callie with a new car. And whose car does it look like? Mommy's. That's right, you guys. Callie got her own Tesla. Yeah. Jeez. So we did the reveal on Famous Tube Kids yesterday, you guys. And look at the license plate. And I got slime in here because um, <laughs> we are doing a video. You got slime in there and already. I yeah. This one, this one is super soft. I, you guys, um, I have to feel this. Kelly, I'm trying to show them your new car, girl. They seen slime a million times. <laughs> but you guys, look how sick this is. Like legit, every aspect, like down to every detail. It's a full out Tesla. It's not the same model Tesla as Keish, but it's like the <laughs> sedan mine version. Is white, but it has the same. Like, Actually, you know what? I think it might be the same model. I don't know. We'd have to ask Keish. But look at that, Kelly. Watch out for a sec. I'm trying to show how similar they look. Let me play in this. That's crazy, you guys. She legit has the same car as Keisha. I think it is the exact same one. But Callie, hop in there and let's show them how fast it is. Hey. Yo, all jokes aside, you guys, I'm not even boosting. This car is stupid fast. Like when she first went on it, I was like, yo, are you sure that's for kids? Like, let's see what Wait, you got, girl. So slow now. Put Mom it in reverse. It Put it in reverse, yeah. <laughs> All right, turn around like I showed you, girl. Turn the wheel. Yeah, either way. Keep turning, yep. Go, go, go. More, more, more. You got room? More, a little bit more. A little bit more back. You wanna go forward now? All right, do your thing. Okay, now go forward. You're good. Now go forward. Callie, wait, I'm gonna give you a countdown. Uh-oh, you all right? Okay, turn the wheel all the way to the, to the left. Oh, blast off. Go, Callie. <laughs> You guys, that car for a kid's model mini Tesla for a toy car, that is fast, yo. I wish I had something like that when I was a kid, um, but that's something that like today's generation is super lucky about, having all of these new gadgets and toys and stuff that just literally wasn't there five, 10 years ago. Callie, love your new car? Yep. Huh? Feel yep. Like, you feel like you, you're like super cool out here, bro? Yes! Guys, this is how it honks. You got a real horn too? Yep. And guys, this is turn it off. Like, yeah! This is my car. You know you gotta learn how to drive. And let me show you how my mom put it in full speed. All right, let's see. So, yo, she's actually not lying. There's this switch right here. So when we got it, it was defaulted to number one. This was actually locked. As you can see, with a screwdriver there, with a screw, you have to get a parent to unlock it to go to level two. That's how fast it is, girl. But yo, I have a very serious question for yep. you, Callie. Since you have this fast car, where's your driver's license? Wait, what is that? Where's your driver's license? That's yeah. something that shows the police that you're supposed to be driving. Do you have it? <laughs> Daddy, can you get me a driver's license? Yeah, I'm gonna get you one, girl. And you guys know that I could not leave Camaro out. As soon as he's seen her car, he's such a good kid. He's happy for Callie. He's like, oh, Callie, it's so sick. But then he's like, Dad, I didn't get nothing. But he said it in like the nicest way ever. I did get him a surprise too. It just hasn't arrived yet. It's taken a little bit longer to come here in the mail. But stay tuned to see what Camaro's new toy is gonna be. Callie, what do you think Camaro's gonna get? Uh. Tesla like me and mommy. A Tesla like you and mommy? <coughs> what about a Range Rover like daddy? Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, it is several hours later. Typical weekend fashion, and I feel like we say this all the time, but typical weekend fashion, we are just now getting ready to leave the house when it's almost about to be evening time, but also we're gonna be welcoming, welcoming three very special people to the vlog for the very first time in this video. We got Mama Rush. What's, what's up, up Mason? What's up no to the four. vlog? No four. Four? You already been in the video, so it's actually, it's just three. What's up? Keeks, she's so camera ready. Hey girl, hey girl. And we got Meryl, what's up hey. So guys, we're actually waiting to leave the house. We're about to go do something, probably the kids' favorite thing to do in the whole world. But right now, we're waiting for something very important. You hear that noise? You hear that water running? We cannot leave until the bottle is warm. I know this looks kind of ghetto right now, you guys, but pretty much I'm just it's warming hot. it up. Huh? We need to get a bottle warmer. We, we should need to get a bottle warmer. We saw, but we're like, we don't know if she's actually consistently taking the bottle. She is now. But though. she's consistent now, so we should buy a bottle warmer, bottle sterilizer, baby Breeza. <laughs> Let's. 
But yo, here's the issue though. But here's the issue. Bringing more stuff into this house with the home renovations, although it's like, okay, that's something we actually need. Mm -hmm. But like bringing more stuff in here is just makes it more hectic because we're already like cramped for space. But... I see you touching me. It's cakes. something that's gonna be more convenient for us. Like yeah. soon we're not gonna have the sink. Yeah. To buy a bottle sterilizer, a bottle warmer, because like look how much water we're wasting by doing that. That's very true. You're you very know? right. Anyways, on the bottle update, you guys, I'm not gonna speak on it too long because I know the last video was pretty much all about Kiki taking the video. So I don't wanna bore you guys with the taking same the thing. Video? Taking the, the <laughs> bottle, taking the bottle. So since then, you guys, real quick update, since the last video, she has been taking the bottle, like I'm amazed almost every time I give it to her and if you guys follow us you would have seen I've been snapping and Instagramming like crazy about it because I'm just like super proud that she will finally eat from me how do you feel about the whole update baby how do you feel I'm happy about it I mean like I feed her during the night still but like for her to have the bottle during the day you're able to help out and feed her I can get a little bit of time to myself again not that i didn't love feeding her like i this is what i wanted like i wanted to be able to breastfeed my baby and i did it exclusively for pretty much six months for six months that's and now, impressive you know i get a little help so. yo big ups to awesome. keisha for exclusively breastfeeding for six months not too many mothers can do that like it's not saying like it's better if you can or you can't but that was her goal and she did it so give keisha a thumbs up in the video you guys Aww. click that button give keisha a thumbs up Thank she did you. it i'm proud of you because i witnessed her set a goal she told me literally every day leading up to Kira being born born that I want to breastfeed exclusively and you did it but now it's time for daddy gang to give you some help and give you some relief I know you want to say something Camaro what's up and um and while dad's feeding here if mom comes and Kiki sees her Kiki will stop eating that's right mommy so cannot be come. in the room when I feed her when I'm feeding Kiki and she's taking it I'm like yo everyone get out the room give me peace and quiet with Kiki because I don't want no distractions <laughs> or they come and tell me they're like daddy's feeding Kiki so don't go in the living room like they're so on it we're a team for real like, right <laughs> anyways you guys enough long talking we're about to head out Callie Camaro we're going somewhere I would say this is is probably your favorite place in the whole world. Am I right or am yeah. I wrong? Sky Zone! Wait, no, Sky. but actually Toys R Us is my favorite place. Toys R Us is your favorite? Yeah. What about you? Sky Zone is my favorite. Sky Zone? So, have you guys been behaving though? Keish, do they deserve to go somewhere really fun? What do you think? Honestly, yes, they do. Alright, so let's get right into the video! All right, you guys, we're back after a long night. It is like almost midnight right now. Honestly, I planned to vlog the rest of the night after Sky Zone, but we pretty much just ended ended up going to the mall and then getting a few things and then having a nice family dinner. So it wasn't really, I don't know, it wasn't really a vibe to vlog it. But anyways, nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for coming back and supporting another Rush Fan video. As always, leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the video, you guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Number one, because we're the most lit family on YouTube, guaranteed. You guys are the best. I met a whole bunch of you guys today at the mall and I just love meeting y'all. T-Squad, we truly like the most positive family on YouTube on top of that you guys if you went with the squad you ain't popping so make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the notification bell and we'll see you guys in the next video love you guys peace <laughs>